I first visited the Paris Catacombs back in, I think, 2016. What up, everyone? You already know the deal. Josh here, I'm back with a crazy adventure. I'm heading to the Paris Catacombs. We got to show a lot of the rooms off, but I knew there was so much more to see. So in this video, you're gonna see the first time I've ever went there, and then the most recent time I went there in 2022, which was literally two months ago from when you're viewing this video. I combined both together to form a movie for you guys to watch. We also risked our lives doing this. This is our full, real documentary of the Paris Catacombs and our experience of being there. Underneath Paris is a whole new world. How deep is this? <gasps> it's just dead people. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It's like we're in an apocalypse. It's actually kind of scary. You don't know who's gonna be down here. That's an old train station. And we're going under it. This is gonna be an adventure I'll never forget. So if you all have ever seen As Above, So Below, it's that horror movie about the Paris Catacombs, the same way they got in is the same way we're going in. Now it's gonna get complete darkness. Let's do the... So what's really cool is that there's a culture about this too. In a way, it's like a culture, it's a passion. There's a group and they call themselves cataphils. There are people here all, that live in Paris and you know, close to Paris who come here religiously. Like they, they love it so much. They, want, they sleep down here, they hang out as a group and they're all over and it's cool. I mean, some of them will just come here alone. The Cataphil people, when they see junk and trash inside their tunnels, they'll take it, bring it outside, and throw it right here. So it's cool that, you know, they care about it so much that they actually pick up trash and bring it out. I, I don't know what to expect. I'm a little claustrophobic. Oh. Okay. Okay. I wish I had my camera. Oh, man. This is wild. Get cut well, this is where I get wet. I met my match. No. No. Dude. Okay. Oh, you're getting wet. All right. Fuck it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Bros. But the water is a bit cold. It feels uncomfortable. It's okay. I mean, I'm in a cave, I'm gonna get dirty. This is what happens. I've just been told that these words on the walls that are carved in are actually the street names above us right now. We are just getting soaked walking through this water. People who do this, I mean, you can't expect not to get dirty. This is urban exploring. Like, we're gonna get dirty no matter what. Check out how clear the water is. Look at this. And some parts look dirty, but that's because it's from the chalk on the walls, from the bricks. So this hall that we're walking right now is the main one. This, they call it the driveway. This is the one that's gonna take you to every different section that's cool. There is 250 kilometers of tunnels here. And we're going that's three mad. Three. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can see this, but right here is the date of the last person who came here renovated this place. You know, checked it to make sure, sure it was safe and working fine and all that good stuff. Look at that, 1863. As you can see, the water's building up now. It doesn't feel uncomfortable though. I'm happy about that. The water's really clean, so that's good. There's some big rocks under here with a lot of holes, for example. So I might step on a hole that's just gonna bring my whole leg down, so I gotta watch out. So you can just scoop the diving down here? I guess. That's what I was about. <laughs> so underneath here, there's even more tunnels, another layer of this, but it's overflown, so you can't go in. But so I don't know, maybe people have scuba dived in there, but I don't know. Oh my God, I just went way deep. Yeah, yeah, it's getting, it's getting deeper. The water's getting really deep. Oh man, it's up to my knees now. 
think about this. We are walking under people's houses or backyards. Like, people are probably sleeping above us right now. Yeah. What? These are old bikes or no? No, that's the bike you can rent in Paris. Oh, you can rent these bikes in Paris right now? Yeah, I saw them on the surface. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't want to hit my balls. Oh, oh bro. Okay. Oh, you got to get through. All right, our homie said no more deep water. Ha. Yes, no more water. I feel so weird in these shoes. This ain't my style. Before it, before Paris was there, it was an, an ocean. Yeah. An ocean was here? Oh yeah, dude! Oh wow. Yeah, look at all the the shells. Whoa. Whoa. Look at this guy. Oh, ah! Oh! Yo! Yo, that scared the shit out of me! Dude, imagine that! That coming at you? He got me good. Oh, those jokes. Alright, so it's like they were saying, this used to be an ocean underneath here. Look at all the seashells and stuff embedded in here. We're actually coming up to other people here. Probably cataphils. You can smell their candles and stuff. We are in at the castle. It's the castle room. This is the room I've been wanting to see for so long. I'm actually nervous to film. I don't know how they're going to feel about it. This is insane. This is like a secret society down here. <laughs> this is chill. Little underground party, yeah? Yeah. That's awesome. Dude, I always wanted to see the castle. I'm from Boston. Yeah, this is my first time even in Paris. Yeah. yeah, this this this, uh, this is my first time in Paris ever. I didn't even see the Eiffel Tower yet. I never even seen the tower. I just came straight here. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. I gotta show this, dude. That is so cool. Let me brighten this up. Look at this. Their castle. Is a castle down here? <laughs> he built and this. a dragon. Oh, and, and, and a story dragon. behind this thing. Yeah. Does anyone know the story? I just know it's a man made by a caterpillar. Yeah. That's all I know. Dude, check out all their their stuff. This is so cool down here. Very cool. They got penguins up there. They even have their own little gate. Check out this guy. Just a random sad face carved into the wall. Guys, look at the steam coming off my trousers. That's amazing. That's how warm it is down here. Like the water is just evaporating. That's crazy. We put some candles on the little chandelier here. So epic. What is that? A shrine? No, it's all fake. And so, I know, but like, why is it all here? <laughs> they made a little garden down here. That is so cool. Oh, that's wild. I'm gonna give you guys an example of how much this is a maze. We can go this way, this way, this way, or this way. I mean, there's so much ways to go, you wouldn't know where to go. I'm so glad I came here with this crew, man, Lou and everyone. Shout out to the exploring crew, though. I miss you guys. I'll see you guys soon, eventually. We're just doing crazy stuff. We're about to head into the room called La Plage. It's a famous room here. This is a very big room. and We can get lost in here, apparently. Um, what the hell? Dude, this is like their god. We must, ha we must hail him. Dude, there's just so much freaking ways. We can't get lost. <laughs> Hey! So this is where it's called. So, look at that. Look at this. The graffiti is so good. Our friend is trying to show us a secret room. This is already a secret, so this is a secret within a secret, okay? No, you guys are kidding. You mean there's a secret room and it's in that hole? What? 
How do you feel about this? Oh my gosh, I man, my shoulders don't even fit through this thing. I, I have no, I don't know what's on the other side of this. <laughs> this is why I travel. Yeah. Fucking things like this, a hole in the wall that I'm gonna crawl through. This is like, like a real exploration. Like, Ooh. no tourists, no nothing. Oh, wow. I come through, guys! <laughs> yeah. Alright, my turn. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> I don't think you can do it. I got this. Yes, sorry. Yes! Yes! And you can just tell this is a movie theater. I mean, the people here are artists. Like, they have freaking the Tomb Raider guy. I don't know who he is. I really don't know who any of these people are. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, what? Edward Scissorshand, Scissor yeah. The art is incredible. It's all movie characters. Yeah, this was, yeah, the theater is decked out. Oh, favorite one, hands down. And they said in 2004, cops came in here and they found the room. Really? Yeah, they, they were talking about this. Yeah, by the way, guys, they had electricity in here and everything. I have to crawl through everyone. We're going to a new place. Apparently it was an old brewery room. But there might be people in there. They might be making something. I'm not sure if I can film it. Might be good not to keep their secret secrets. Wow. He's building it. Hey man. So you wait, you're, he's building something? Yes. This is so sick. What is he building? Um, he finished to building the this place. Oh, he oh he built this the, room. Um, I think, yeah. Or a seating, a seat. Seating. Oh wow. This is so sick. So you you made this. <laughs> wow. That's nice. Get to sit down and relax here. This whole section, this sector, is the largest part of the catacombs. It's just all wide open. You just see all the people there building stuff and extending it, cleaning it out. Probably even gonna make an extra room or something. Who knows? But it's huge. Dude, what? <laughs> Oh my god. You can totally get lost here, guys. This is so massive. Our buddy said that it's actually really rare to see people just here building stuff as a community. They say usually like when they come here, it's already built or they just never seen people just building. Also, um, what we were talking about is like the cops will come in here once in a while just to check up on the place to make sure it's safe. So even though you're not allowed down here, the cops actually like how the people are turning this into like a lifestyle and turning it into some creativity, like building the statues and how they're hanging out as family. And it doesn't, it's not actually that bad down here. It's, I feel safe and it's amazing. Oh man. We have to do it, man. Yeah. All right, get ready to get low with water. This is definitely the most dangerous in terms of getting the equipment wet. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Maybe it's about putting the rucksack in the front. Whoa. I might do it. Whoa. It's okay. It's not yeah. for very long. Yeah, man. it's not bad. You, you'll be fine. It's only a few meters. Yeah. It's getting crazy now. Woo! Hell yeah. That's crazy. Doesn't this look like a kind of Egyptian pyramid? It does a little bit, yeah. Jeez. So we're a bit lost, our buddy said. Um, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen. But we have a lot of food and water, so if something does happen, I mean, we can chill down here for a bit. His last name means. <laughs> this is someone's last name, but it means drunk. <laughs> We've been walking for the past 35 minutes now since that last take. So this way and this way leads you to the official catacombs of Paris, the ones that you pay for and you know, you can see all the good stuff, but 
You know, you guys already know I ain't about that life. I hate tours. <laughs> <laughs> that means we're getting closer to like bones and stuff. Definitely respect the dead, of course. Then we check those uh, places. I know we're back in the same uh, avenue. Avenue Dalio. You can see it? Yeah, yeah. Um, we're back in the, the main tunnel that you sold the bus? Yeah, it's the, the tunnel that goes from the south to the north. Oh, when there's no light in here. It's your screen, bro. Oh, yeah, my screen. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Yeah, look how, like, you don't, you wouldn't even know where you are. This means graveyard, it's called Simche. So we're getting close to the catacombs, like the legit area, guys. All these right here were where the, these metal hooks coming out the wall is meant for when the miners were working, they would put their tools and their jackets and stuff here. Oh yeah, cemetery. We're getting there. Oh, wow. It's a cemetery right on the wall now. It's the first sign of a... Uh, what? A bone. Right. Just in the middle of the park. Just walking, you're seeing human remains. You can go there. It's a... Uh, there's a lot of bones there. Just in this hole, there's bones? There's a hill too, though. Going in. Behind this little hole is tons of bones. This is scary. Oh. Dude, there is someone's arm bone right here. What? There is bones everywhere here, man. Look at this. Are we coming back out of there? Yeah, I think one at a time should go in because we'll get squished. You think one at a time? Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. It's just bones, bro. Yeah. Like, decaying human remains everywhere. This is a hip bone. Yeah, you if you come in now, it opens up. I didn't know. I hear something. You hear something? Like a like an animal. No. What? I heard an animal. I'd rather you come in here so I'm not scared. Like a rat. Uh, yeah, I think a rat. Okay. I just can't believe this. Just piles and piles of human bones. It's definitely creepy, but it's, at the same time, it's so interesting. Laura would find this fascinating. Dude, I know she would. Part of a skull? Bro, I found part of a skull. There are so many bones now, I can't walk the path without stepping on someone. Or multiple people in just one walk. It's unbelievable. Avoid stepping on remains, but there's so many, like, you can't not. It's like the top bit of the skull. So it's like top of their brain, like their brain, their yeah. head. I feel like the skull's quite delicate, so this is all probably part of the same skull, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Peace. Dude, it's just like layers and layers of bones that were actually on. Through what? The dirt. Oh, what is Where's that? There's can there. Oh, I was like, all right, yeah, I, got, I was like, what is that? I wonder how old these are. So these are hundreds of years old. Yeah. Yeah. From like the 17th. I want to rebuild a skull. If you get everything together, you can probably build a whole human skeleton. Yeah. But did they separate the different types of bones? Because there's a lot of bones here that just seem like the same yeah, bones. They look I, like it looks like that, like all arm bones and yeah. leg bones. Yeah. My friend wants to show me some more stuff. Oh, God. You can go through and film half. Go up. Okay. Dude, I'm, t I'm literally, this is just piles of bones. But I gotta go through it and film up, my friend said. Oh my God. God. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah? Oh, 
Hundred percent. Hang on. You guys are gonna flip when you see this. Oh my god. This just doesn't compute. In my Guy, head. Louis, this is just a skyscraper of bones. What? A skyscraper of human remains. It's just bones stacked on bones. Like you would only see this in a movie. I can't believe this. I mean, I am laying on bones to get this shot. And this, like every, I mean, this is normal. Everyone's do, everyone does it. No disrespect or anything. It's just, oh my god, that's what you gotta crawl in to see that shot. What do you think, Louis? Struggling to imagine that this is these are real people, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just too much. See ya, man. How you feel right now? One of your first crazy. Um, one of the craziest moments of my life, if not the, like probably the craziest moment of my life. I never thought I would be anywhere like this. This is like being in an Indiana Jones movie. Yeah. <laughs> like this is, this is a human bone, like. I know. <sighs> Guys, this is the most intact skull that we've seen. This is crazy, this is like half a skull. All right everyone, you've seen as much as I did. I literally, I don't have much time. I might even miss my flight home just to see this, but it was worth it, but it sucks if I miss my flight home. I've already extended the days just to come here. Um, I have to do a six hour drive. We have to, we can't miss the ferry to get back to London. I hope we can get back. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was on my bucket list for so long. And now that I got the idea of catacombs and, and like if I get a map or something or find more people that want to chill and, and work together and film, it's gonna happen then. Uh, maybe in the summertime I'll come back, I don't know. But I'm exploring with Josh. Subscribe to Louis, subscribe to Sia. There's always crazy abandoned places. There's always crazy vlogs. There's always crazy cool experience adventures coming your way. Just subscribe. Oh. So we just got into Paris. Uh, we had to take the roof box off because it wouldn't even fit down here. Um, yeah, we're just getting all our stuff and get to the hotel and we're gonna plan from there. All right, are you guys ready? We're gearing up. Dan, can you tell us about the grenades and why do we need uh, these smoke grenades? Okay, so the smoke grenades, they play a crucial part and if anything does go wrong down there, we need to get away. So as you may be aware, people do live down there. They're called the cat files. Now, they do not like people down there, especially those with cameras. Anyone taking video of autos, they can get very aggressive uh, as I have seen before. Now, the smoke grenades act as a bit of a camouflage for us. So if they do start kicking off, we can start running while pulling the grenades. We run down the tunnels with the smoke grenade, causing a smoke screen between us and the cat files, therefore getting away safely. All right, so we have four grenades, one for each of us. There's four of us here, obviously, but we're meeting up with some people that we actually don't even know. Um, I was referred a uh, tour guide for down there. There's no official tour guides. There's no laws down there. There's anything goes. There's no rules. Um, it, it could be dangerous. People do get mugged. They do get their stuff stolen. Um, and I got this random guide from a somewhat of a cool friend that I kind of met but didn't meet, so I don't really know. But he referred me to this guy. And he goes down there a lot. Now, I've been to the catacombs five years ago. Underneath these grounds that we're walking on holds over six million bodies. Bones, everything. They're all down there. And it all started back in 1738. Paris made tunnels, mining tunnels. Eventually, the cemeteries got so overflown, they had no place to put the bodies, so they put them inside reinforced tunnels. There are new rooms. There's rooms that I've never seen. There's even a throne of skulls there, which you might have seen in other people's channels, but there's other rooms that no one has shown. I'm trying to find these rooms. We're all trying to find these rooms. Underneath Paris is a whole new world. And we're trying to get in there. And you have to gear up and you have to wear the right stuff. Everything is geared up, but the last thing you do need to bring is an ID, which is in my hand. Now, the reason why you need an ID is because actually, police do go down there now and they do checkpoints. 
They, they don't really kick people out, but they can. If you don't have an ID, you're getting kicked out right away. They write your names down, and they can fine you or bring you to the police station. It's getting a lot stricter down there. People are getting a lot more violent down there, and we don't know what's going to happen today. This is definitely one for the books. And only the locals here mainly know about these secret rooms. I mean, there's even like a Nazi room that's secret that, they, that the cops and the certain task force down below found it because the task force, this certain group of cops work with the cataphiles, the people down there, and they made a, a group agreement down there where they're not gonna bother them, they're not gonna bother each other, and if something happens, they can report to them. It's weird that underneath this entire place is full of nine million dead bodies. You wouldn't even expect it. All right, just an update. We just got to the meeting point and um, we just met them. They're really cool. They're showing us all the rooms and stuff that we're gonna go into. Um, they're just saying how the people down there don't wanna see our cameras and how people like us, like YouTubers, are not welcome down there. So we have to do our best. There's rooms down there that's never been documented in any YouTube video that we wanna see. One of them just got destroyed yesterday um, because the person who built it got into a fight with four other people and they smashed the whole room and it was amazing. So we lost one room already. But there's many rooms down there and we have a long walk to get there. There's our meeting point right there. Literally, it's like so suspicious. Like, there everyone hanging out and then we're all just hiding under there. <laughs> Hello? So I'm just walking back here because I just got more information. Two of the people we are with are building rooms down there and they built their own room to hang out in. And at the end of this whole explorer, they're going to take us to their room that they built. I'm telling you, it's a crazy city under there. The spirit, old spirit. Yeah. There is a lot of English people in this town. Oh yeah, his people. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. What is your job? So I make uh, YouTube videos on abandoned places. We're all waiting for something over here. I don't know what. Maybe there's a, a drop here? I don't know. Bro, what the hell? Dude. I don't even know what the heck's going on. I am so freaked out. Yeah. Dude, what is this? That is a baby hole. Can I even fit in there? Oh my god. I don't know. I will try. I don't know, I'm kind of scared of heights. No, no, I'm kind of <laughs> claustrophobic, but I don't know. We're so scared, we don't even know where we are right now. <laughs> I'm saying heights, and I'm like, dude, my heart's beating fast. This is crazy. We're with a, what I'm assuming is a solid group though, so I'm very happy. We're trying to document everything. We don't have a camera microphone on because if anyone sees that on our thing, they're gonna know we're filming and they're gonna smash our cameras. That's a small hole. Okay. <laughs> bro, <laughs> here we go. You can do it, bro. I'm gonna try. Okay. Alright, <laughs> yep. <laughs> right, so we made it through the hole. And now we're all here. Are we going through another hole? Oh, okay, get ready? Okay. And then down here, there's another way, and God knows where that leads you. Remember, there is 200 miles of tunnels. So just so you guys know, if you're hearing any music, that is to let the cataphiles know that we're not the police as we go through here. Because if they hear a bunch of people coming, and there's no music, Oh. They're gonna assume that we're the, they're the police. We're the police and they're gonna run or do some crazy stuff. True story. Wow. Look at this. 1790. 1790? Yep. Damn. Another tunnel they're going through right now. Dude, I've never been here either. This is new. That's what I'm saying. Well, it might not be new, but there's so many that this is one I didn't do. You guys haven't been to this one. I've never been to this one. Wow. I came in through a train tunnel. Yeah, me too. I came through the As Above, So Below tunnel. As Above, So Below. Yeah, this is a new side I've never been in. Oh my god. I know. This is so This is crazy. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you. 
This is a lie down job. Oh, lie down job. Whoa. I'm glad I lost like five pounds in this trip. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm yeah. to be getting stuck. In yeah, I can't, I can't wait to watch you go through this, bro. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> you really are a fish, bro. You really are a fish. This is amazing, bro. Go right in. Oh. Let's <laughs> see. Okay. Come on, fat boy. I'm coming. <laughs> Yeah, not so easy, is it? <laughs> I can't. Ah, give me a hand. Yo, I'm actually taking my strong hand. It's the long shirt. It's the long shirt. Okay. Okay. Alright, there's no avoiding this one. We're gonna be going into water that's gonna go up to our waist, if I'm not mistaken, so. This is just the beginning. We haven't even seen Bones yet. We're just getting started. This is why you need to come with people that know what they're doing. You will get lost. I promise you. Floor is real. Whoa, yeah, watch the flooring! <laughs> you almost fell too? Yeah. <laughs> Holy this is the line still. I don't know what we're going in now. Whoa, 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 our team, our team. Gotta go. I'm coming. Try. Oh. Oh. I see spider crooked. Oh my god. I'm just gonna say this right now guys, if you're new here, like and subscribe, we travel the world searching for the best abandoned places all around, we're giving you a exclusive original content of the Paris Catacombs, subscribe to this channel if you're new here, hit that bell button regardless, and don't forget about Explorer Josh, we have a lot more to go. Now there are rooms here we have never seen, many of them, one of them being the Skull Throne, well that's the one I haven't seen that other people have seen, I'm trying to get a picture there, it's been like a thing I've been wanting to do for a long time. So right here, Explorers, is a street from above, and this is how people are also navigating on where to go, and plus they made a digital map down here, certain people that come here all the time to find out where to go next. And remember, we are literally under streets, people are above us, it is, it, it's, it's just so crazy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this, these tunnels have been here since, again, the 13th century. And at first they were here for uh, limestone quarries. They were mining. Everything here, they would come down, f fetch their limestones, and would build Paris. Can you see how this uh, thing we're walking through, this tunnel, look is in, and is shaped as a coffin? Ain't that a bit weird? It's... It's shaped as a coffin. Oh, no, I'm not dying here. No way I'm dying here. <laughs> We're not gonna die here, bro. Not, bro. not like this. Yo, Seth, I got an idea. You go this way. I'm gonna keep going this way with everyone else. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Not to leave the account. Okay. Yeah. Camera. Okay. Shirts. Yeah. We take the ambiance of the sun, of the room, and the after. Okay. Understand. Perfect. If if a lot of people, yeah, yeah. and uh, for filming, uh, enjoy uh, the empty room. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay. You can imagine how claustrophobic this will be. Um, you know, it's not for everyone. It gets short, and it could last for a little while, but then it pops back out, and then sometimes you have to keep going down, and. Sometimes really squishy, but our group is not waiting because it is a lot of walking and a lot to see. Can you imagine now? Can you imagine trying to do this without a tour guide? No, absolutely not. I'd already be lost. <laughs> but ain't it weird how like we our first instinct like, oh, we can just do it. We don't need a tour guide because because <laughs> we think we're the best. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but then it's like, wait a minute, what's going on? We can't do it. Yeah. Like because no one realizes how crazy it is down here. True. Look at this. It's we nuts. So what's cool is like random cataphiles would come and like smash us open just to explore to see like what's actually down there. 
it's crazy. Like, there's so many secret passageways. There, there's, there's rooms being made right now as we're down here that we all don't know about, just by other people here. This catafile is here, so we're hiding the camera. Keep an audio on. In case something happens. You said we could take photo. You said we could. Yeah, I record it. You could just hold it. Wait, can I come down there? Yeah, you can. How do I get down? Get down. Here, you have a... Yes, you have a... Grab your face. 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 Grab your c'est presque un peu trop parce que le plafond, sera mieux. So we're doing a challenge, right? Yeah. And we have to see. So right now we're in the catacombs and we're in the first room and we're doing a challenge to get out first. So okay, guys. Okay, guys. No, this is apocalypse. This is the battle royale. The last one takes the garbage for all the the night. It's okay? The trash bag? Yes. 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 Trash bag for, for all the night for the last one. Trash bag. Yes. It's okay? That's okay. What we got there? Stop. I'm in a good spot. Go! No! <laughs> <laughs> I helped him out. I don't know if it's on camera, but I held his whole hand. I took him out the pit. You saved my life. You didn't help me. Yeah. You helped me at least. Because he was lighter. He was lighter. All right, explorers. So right now we've been doing a good job. We've been like blending in with the cataphiles. There's like two people there. So like we haven't been able to film the first room, but we were able to film that part of the first room. And I think when we leave, I'll be able to film more of it. The first room we're in right now, I'm just gonna give you some history. A guy made it and it was one of the first rooms ever made down here and it's the number one party room. This is where everyone goes to party. There's the pit there where people just hang out in. Um, there's just, a, and there's another pit on the other side, I'll get to it. And the name of it is on the wall, so I'm gonna show you it. And I really do apologize because I'm not allowed to bring the microphone on. Some parts are just really hard to, where you can hear me because you're gonna hear everyone else because I can't use the microphone. Remember, we're not allowed to be down here. No YouTubers are allowed here. There is actual posters of people's faces, band hair, who actually filmed down here. It's serious. So this is the first room. This is what it's called. I have no idea what that means. App Eero. Yes, th this is cool. <laughs> this is cool. Yes, well, how do you say that? Uh, apero. 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 Uh, the time uh, at the end of the day when uh, you drink with friends, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, see the party room, yeah. This is cool. Yeah, so this is the first room. You see a carving on here. Really crazy. And then, and then this is the pit. The pit room. You can barely make it out, hang on. People would party down here and just hang out. It is awesome with some steps. Oh shit, I'm not one. Let's go. Where's that? Where's that? Oh, I didn't see the skull. Uh, now you can see the skull. All embedded in the wall. Like carvings. Alright guys, if you can hear me, we are in the first room. Um, again, we came out of this hole for the tradition. It's loud in here, but we all sat right here and we were just chilling, hanging out. This is the chill spot. Yo, Dave, you lost. Trash man. Yeah! Trash man. Hey! All right, so we're pretty much leaving, going to the next room. Um, there was a cataphile here, and so because of that, we weren't able to like film this room. But we're trying our hardest to show you everything, because when there's no cataphiles, we're able to film and go around and hang out. All right, here we go. I'm going. 
All right, guys, we are now moving on to the next spot. I don't know where it's gonna be. I'm just going with the flow. I don't even know where that goes. I'm following the homie. This guy has been leading us this whole time. He's the leader here. Yo, Dave lost. I mean, again, he's a trash man. He's holding it. He's doing his job. Do him a job, bro. That's amazing. Do you think he'll have a chance to redeem himself? All right. You say it's inevitable, but oh, I'm, I have yet to get wet. Dude, my feet are soaked. What happened? It's uh, right there. So, she went uh, thin with uh, What's in there? Oh, it's a way. Another way? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, we're crawling now, guys. Uh, oh, I, I think uh, you might uh, take off your bag. Yeah, better? Yeah, better. And uh, you put it in front of you. Oh, that's smart. Okay. I'm a, I put my uh, water, yeah, maybe in my, oh, I put it in my bag. Maybe. You're taking your bag off? Yeah, I'm taking my bag off. Oh uh, man. The, the lamp in the okay. Hand. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry. No, this is good. Yeah. We're crazy right now. This This is crazy. I will uh so Okay. So right now, I don't know where we're going, but the homies said go this way, so we're going this way. And this is why you can't be like scared of uh, small spaces. You know what's weird? I can do this, but I can't scuba dive. That's my issue. Almost out of here. It's a long one. Someone's on here. I'm gonna hide my camera really quick. Cause I don't know them. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so this is our team. But there's someone here I don't know. Could be anybody, so I'm just gonna follow these guys down. Make sure I'm safe. Here's my bag now, full of mud. <laughs> Pants you know, are super dirty. technique is? Yeah. Is to put your bag on your feet, like that. <laughs> there you go, Dave. I've got a trash man. Hey, you trash man, you're working hard. Yeah. I got you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Duty. You're, you're traditional right. duty? Yeah. <laughs> the next traditional thing? Yeah. There's another one? We got another uh, one. Uh, a better one. Oh, a better one. How do you even know where you're going? You mean there's something better than climbing out of a hole? <laughs> <laughs> where are we? Whoa. Maybe, uh, maybe turn, turn off your lights. Should be better. Okay. Turn off your lights. Should be better. And uh, just walk in. Go first. All right. Uh, don't forget to go in them. Okay. okay. There's a bunch of cataphiles down here, and they're all hanging out. What is going on? Right here is the monk room. It's the ceremony room. Les Chartreux. Fountain, <laughs> Fountain of Chateau? Chartreux. Chartreux? Uh, uh, name of uh, some guys. Monk. 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 Oh, like yes. Fountain of Monk? Monk, yeah. yes. Wow. Hold Monk. This is crazy. <laughs> What's the red thing? This is my fountain. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the hell. Jesus Christ. How did someone make this? All right, so with my light on, I can show you guys. Yeah, look at this room right now. It is crazy. 
<laughs> What's down here? Anything? Oh, dead end. Oh, it's flooded. Bad water. Bad water. Bad water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poison. <laughs> Heck no. Oh, look at it. They carved it, dude. They made it somehow. I don't know how they did it. Look at this. The cobblestone down here that they brought. Wow. Yeah. 1705? Yes. This room? Yes. What? Yes, yes, yes. And this uh, fountain working since uh, this date. 1705, this fountain was working. Yes. He did this. Yeah. And uh, if he saw the um, infiltration, okay. and uh, he made the. The uh, Vasque. Vasque? How do you say Vasque? Vasque. Uh, the basin. Basin. And uh, this is the uh, fountain of Chartreux. That's <laughs> cool. Which is also like fountain of monk. Or, yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah, Chartreux fountain of monk. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. So, guys, they said that above us is another fountain of the inside of the church that drips down here and drips down in here into there. What the hell? I'm not even joking. This is crazy. Yeah, okay, all right. They're doing a ceremony. He's gonna get baptized. If it's not good luck, I'm still doing it. <laughs> is it not better without the long tips? Maybe. Um, uh, tie you on back. Tie you on back. Tie you on back. Maybe yeah. a little bright, or a little less. Make sure you want to need to take one. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. easier. Thank you. I'll put Just. One. This yeah. is an official ceremony, we got Dude, I'm honored. Uh, du coup, nous accueillons ce soir. What's your name? Seth. Seth. Nous accueillons ce soir Seth pour qu'il abandonne son nom de surfacient. Seth. Comment vous voulez qu'il s'appelle du coup? What's his nickname? What's his nickname? What should we call him? Bones. Bones. Oh. Bones. 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 So after this, uh, die. after this die, <laughs> you are Bones. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Welcome to Bones! Hell yeah, dude! That's crazy. That's <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Go on, John. Yo, I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, Alright, once you're Josh baptized, Josh you can never leave. Josh is about to get baptized. Wait, okay. He never leaves. <laughs> yeah, he'll stay inside <laughs> forever. <laughs> Josh! <laughs> Josh, you're never allowed to leave. I'm never allowed to leave. Once no. you're baptized, you got to stay here forever. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let's think of a name. So, what is the ni new nickname of Josh? Uh, what do we say? Slank. No, it could be. Could be. Could <laughs> be. Ça, ça peut être. Uh, Nara. Uh, Nara. 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 Like Nara. 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 Okay. Nara. When you meet some uh, <laughs> some people in here, yeah. you must uh, say Nara. Nara. I'm Nara. I like Nara. In Nara. I like that. That's Nara. 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 It's okay. Oh man, dude. I don't know. After the day, yeah. You're Nara. Nara. Okay. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. When you want. Okay, ready? Six ready. four with Nara now. Real? Yeah! Whoa! Yeah, he is. Mario. <laughs> is that Burger? Burger. Burger. So after this diet, your name was Burger? Yeah. Burger. Burger. When you're ready, go. Let's go. 
Ah, il va. Allez, dis bon. I love this. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I cannot get over this. I have now just been baptized. Am I now a, a cataphile? Just so you all know, again, I have to remind you all, that water comes from a church right above us. This, you can't make this up. This is the most insane thing I have filmed in such a long time. To get cool and close to some of the locals here in France and for them to baptize us and become a local here with them is amazing. And this is something that I love to do. This is like the old exploring with Josh. You guys might be new watching me, but I've been exploring for the last eight years and we've been used to, every time we used to do abandon or travel or anything, we were always going to meet the locals and meet up with them. And it feels good to be kind of like back in that situation for them to trust us, to hang out with us to get to know us, we know them, and for them to just like introduce us to their traditions down here in Paris. We're now official cataphiles. We've been baptized down here, my name is Nara. Dude, this is an incredible experience because it's about the people, the culture, and, and everything that comes with it. When you get to be one with that, you're now true with your surroundings. And that's what I mean when exploring. This is, oh man, this is so good, for real. All right, guys, we are, we are now leaving this room. I just want to say this has been a crazy experience, but we're going to head on to the next room. But look at this. We just one more time had to show you this. You got to keep the place clean, Dave. Keep it clean. Okay. All right, everyone. Now we are heading to a Nazi bunker. We'll get into the history when we get there, but it's actually pretty interesting. How long till Nazi bunker, you think? Five meters? Oh, five minutes? Oh, that's not that bad. Oh, meters. Oh, okay. There's an, wait, there's an iron door to the Nazi bunker? What? You have an ancient bunker door. Whoa. By the Nazis? Yes. And here is the entry of the bunker. One of the entries. Okay. You have an uh, ancient uh, sign, but... Uh, yeah, so this was the bunker, though. This one is the... As crazy. Yeah. It's still crazy history. Are those arrows original? Yes. Sparrow yeah, by Nazi. Nazis. Yeah, Nazis. I hate this game. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, in this zone, we have two two bunkers. One bunker uh, occupied occupied by occupied. The, occupied by the Nazi, and uh, one other just a just a little height for the resistance. Okay. And uh, the Nazi uh, have a guide Nazis. for uh, the Kata okay. because the Nazi don't know Kata. <laughs> the Nazi are Dutch, and um, so the guy was a resistant too. So if uh, is um, is try to never uh, cross Nazi and resistant. So never never fight in the Qatar. All right. Okay. okay. Voilà. And the two oh, okay. are about uh, 200 meters each one. Uh, each other from each other. Yes, yes, yes. yes. No. Really close, really close. Wow. So yes. the so the Nazis and the Dutch were very close, and yes. you didn't even know. Yes, but, but never. Nazi crossed. and resistance wow. never cross each other, wow. but they are two hundred meters away. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's crazy. That's insane. They had they had power down here. They did. They had generators, power. Uh, yeah, but power look, boxes. look. Oh, that's whoa. I think that's ru that's uh, German, that right? That is German. German. That's German, I think. Whoa, a door! That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, one thing I want to bring up is when the cataphiles found this place, it wasn't so, so long ago. And when they first found it, they were amazed because when they came in here, everything was fully pristine. There was guns still inside, they were saying. Everything was still here from the Nazi times. No joke, I'm not kidding. Montaigne High School. High School's, oh, okay. And 
there was an access in okay. the high school. Wow, I, I, the high school had access? Yes. Wow. To, uh, uh, it did. Uh, Not no more. Prime example of when you knock a wall down, there's still a whole nother place to go to. Ain't that weird. What is this? A whole like jail gate? Almost tripped. All right, we're about a GI Joe crawl right now again. Be prepared. I'm gonna try to do it with my bag on. Yeah, you'd have been better. <laughs> God, I felt like I just was born again. I felt like I was born again. Oh man, I used all my strength. I probably had the ugliest face right there. I feel like I'm being born again. You are. Uh, no. Street. It was. Long, really long time ago. Oh, one of the old ancient ones. Yeah. After you had the. Ancient roads. So this street don't exist anymore. That one no. that's right here. No. no. That's amazing uh, is it, though. Is it, uh, sorry, this wasn't a street. Oh, it wasn't. Oh. Uh, it's a, a pump in a cluster, yeah, like a square inside. Oh, yeah. oh um, the thing in the middle, like relax yeah, outside. Yeah, 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 a courtyard. Okay, so you guys in the comments below, translate what this means for us. What's going on right now? He's just gonna go ahead and check, make sure there's no one there, so we can okay. continue filming. Okay, yeah. So this must be coming up to a hot spot. Possibly. Yeah, making sure no cataphiles are there, guys. That's that's the thing. So you guys are seeing this. You guys are seeing our film, and it seems like it's it's not, like it's safe. Everything's happy. That's because it's just us down here right now. If we met the wrong people at the wrong time, easily could be a nightmare. So I've been in pyramids. This looks like a pyramid right now. We're going in. It's getting really narrow and skinny. Oh, look at this, look at this. The snake man! Ah! He's blocked off. Blocked off? Yeah. He rolls his place. Like the back of his hand, he's not lost. And he got lost? We just got lost, yeah. All right. And he, he was leading the way. Yeah. Yeah. Our guy. Yeah. Okay. Our guy, and we lost. Uh oh. On God, how do you not get lost here? I swear to God, how could you not get lost here? There is different turns, left, right, this way, that way. I, I just don't understand. I couldn't even read this map. Uh, All right, we were lost. Now we found our way, and we have to go through this crazy little, like, uh, area Josh. that was once blocked. Josh, come in. Okay, Josh. I come. Okay. Wow. Okay. Perfect. I have to go this way, uh huh? Okay. So this way is better, like this. Yes. Yeah. It makes sense. But you can you you can take this uh, okay. this first. This is better. Oh. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> this tech. I felt like. Oh, oh snake, bro, I'm stuck. Yeah, crazy, crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. It's oh no, very ste awkward. steps is. Yeah, very steps awkward. Steps is a step. Wow. All right, let's see. Uh, I want to see uh, Dan get through there. Yeah, good luck. Okay. <laughs> oh, head oh, no. no head. Whoa. I'm All down. right, Dave. Okay, that was clean. That was clean. That was good. That was good, Dave. Like, uh, it's like a sign. Like uh, carnage. Uh, like, uh... <laughs> I don't know. There's a sign. <laughs> it's a sign. Wow. How we do? More holes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a big thing. 
You won't? Almost there. Yeah. Uh, well, I can't even get my other arm out of this one. <laughs> Had to go one arm in. Okay. I was going fast. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is the smallest hole, bro. Oh, this is the smallest one we've been through yet. Yep. I actually got to lay on my stomach. Yeah, 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 this was a hard one. Oh. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. You were like a snake, bro. It's a small hole. <laughs> smallest one yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Burger. You can do it, Burger. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, Burger! Yeah. Whoa! Oh. What happened? I don't know. The mist came Oh. It's straight. Oh, okay, Keep okay. going straight. Alright, that was. He's a good sign. I was afraid because I couldn't see it. I couldn't see. Someone pulled a prank on us, but I hate those pranks, man. Bad to breathe in. I hate that. Yeah. Look. Little drop. What's in here? Whole nother way. <laughs> I don't think Dave liked that smoke scare. I was a little nervous at first. They tricked us. I thought it was like a, a cop. Don't know where the hell we are, but there is a head carved into the wall. This place, again, insane. Still moving, we're still moving. We already been down here for like six hours. I haven't seen light. Just here. Crossroads, so they're checking to make sure. That way? Just here. Let me show you Okay. Whoa! What? Wait, what? Yeah, 11 years ago, and they didn't find them, no, no, got no, lost. They, found, they only found these body 11 So they gave, they made them this memorial. Yes. Well, I don't know what the C's mean. I know, this, it's I dating back so hard. I don't know that year. Right there. C10C111. Mm -hmm. Don't know. <laughs> That's amazing, though. Like, they made a memorial for him. Yes. You kids, there's a lot of mud. Oh! The thickest, gooeyest mud yet. I don't even know that way. Yeah, I'm sticking with them. We've already been doing this for over five or six hours. We haven't even seen a single bone yet. We, uh, we are going to. And we're going to now, is what, it, is what he said. <laughs> this is the, yeah, this one's legit. Um, as there is some water, I okay. will wait for you on the other side. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, hang on. Okay, give me a bag. Yeah, hang on. This is the tightest one. As you can see, I'm just... This is it. This is what I'm in. Um, I'm coming. <laughs> I know, bro. I know. Okay. This is unbelievable. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming. I'll get your bags. Let me be free. Take care of the trash. Okay. I gotta go get the trash. Wow! All right, guys, that was a very tricky part. I just zoomed out on that hard part you just seen, and then came out this other side, but a lot of dust, a lot of everything. I was like, screw this. I just dipped out, and now we're going, and it's easier now. All right, I can't dodge this one. Maybe, I'll try, but I doubt it. Yup, there's nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I got wet feet now. I was going the whole time without it. Is this a church? Yeah. Wow, look at the seats. I've never seen this one. I've never seen this. No bones but church. Yeah, no, this is cool as hell. This is awesome. A church underground for the catafields. Yep, up there you put the candles. And look at over there, maybe some more candles over there. You know what blows my mind is they cut some metal and made it look like a formation of a seat. Right there. Yo, I didn't even notice that, Seth just pointed that out. He just said there's no one here but there's still a flame with the candle lit right there. I did not even notice that. And then right here is the church sign for it. No name. Just the cross for the church to show it off. 
Yeah. The rat's rocky. One of the entrances to get down, now sealed. All right, first sign of a bone. We're getting there. That's the first sign of bone in seven hours or something since we've been down. To think that people actually sleep down here for like weeks. Oh, mud. We're like in mud. Another bone? Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, some bones. Oh, we're up to my knees now, almost. Oh, whoa, whoa. Here you go, explorers. Tons of bones. Oh, dude, I don't even think I seen a skull the last time I came here. Bro, it's a whole hallway of bones. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Where you see the skull? Yeah, dude. Oh, here. Yeah. Little tops of skulls. Femur bones. Pelvis. Look at that whole corridor there, it's full of human remains. Yeah, look at it. Oh, yeah. Just a tunnel of bones, full of them. Here's some more skull heads. Just an update to remind you guys that all these bones that we're now seeing and walking through have been here since the 17th century. So the stairs or the hole? Depends if you want some challenge or not. <laughs> I don't want to break my legs. How else? <laughs> uh, he made his choice. <laughs> what are we, what is are we this, is this the way we got to go now? I'm going to take, take the stairs. The stairs. I'm gonna take I'll the take the stairs. stairs. Yeah. It's, get, it's up to you. I'm getting I'm get, it's getting late. I'm old. I'm taking the stairs. <laughs> A couple years ago, I'd probably take the whole. But yo, there's literally stairs made for us, though. Well, and this wasn't made by uh, cataphils. This is actually like gravestones for the, put the bodies. Who's taking the hole? Oh. Hey. oh. Wow. <laughs> it's a weird feeling because like you don't want to step on them, but they've been here for so long. Everyone stepped on them, and it's it's like it gets worse. And at one point, you're gonna always, unless it's not this way, you always step on some. Touch them? I know, I never touched them. I never did. I don't know if I want to. It's not meant in a disrespectful way. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying not to step on anyone. It's almost impossible at some points, though. Yep. So they weren't ever really respected in their burial in the first place. No, I don't. Yeah. What kind of bone is that one? It's the bottom of the spine. A back spine bone, yeah, yeah. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. The spine. Holy shit. Is this the skull throne? Yes. We found it! Whoa! Dude! So this is one of the things you've been looking for. Yeah, this I never... This is the throne made of skulls and femur bones. How many people are here, man? Wow. Bro. You have some whole complete top of the head there is the eyebrow, like where the eyebrow is. Dude, they, they tied them together with wire. How does it make you feel? They tied like human them? bones together to make okay. a throne. I'll ask you in about two seconds. No, ask me Look at his head. head. Okay. It's crazy, dude. Someone remade it. Yeah, it sounds crazy. This is easily one of the craziest things I think I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's a throne, but it's made of humans. Exactly, that's why it is the creepiest. You only see it here, at the catacombs. That's the, that's the most insane thing. All right, again, by me sitting in this chair, I don't mean any disrespect whatsoever. It's just, this is one of those things that the cataphils have built, and it's a monument. So we're just going to document it and, ex and document our experiences as well. So I'm going to sit in the throne. Jesus Christ, that feels weird. I don't want it. Hey Dan, what was the what was the thing you said about sitting in the throne? 
What's the what's the legend? Keep the angel of death away for four years. Hey. If that's true, I'll see. <laughs> Dude, that one looks like it's got a bullet hole on your arm. Yeah. How do you think I've survived so many underground adventures? This is the weirdest thing I've ever done. It is. It is definitely uh, out of this world for sure. <laughs> You're sitting on human remains at, made out of a throne. Trying. It feels weird. It does. All right, I'm done. I wonder how many different people you're touching. I don't even want to know. Sound. I don't want to know. All right, so Seth set in the bones. I'm gonna sit in it real quick. So when I first sat in it, it's just like hard, like hard candy almost. Like, no, no, cement. It feels like cement, like a brick. Super hard. It's just so crazy to me to, see, to, to think that there's like skull heads, human skull heads all around me. And never mind that, just the bones are piled up to the top. It's actually insane. I don't think we can see this anywhere else in the world. It's very unique. Hell no. <laughs> so just saying, Explorers 2, um, well, first we left the throne, and just the thing is like, this is a normal thing down here, which is, is super, you know, different. I was gonna say weird, but I don't really like the word weird because I think anything weird can be kind of cool. It's just different. So, with the cataphiles, uh, that's a thing to them, for them. Ugh. That's the thing for them, is to sit on that throne, take their photos, create things, make things. They do that here. So we don't mean any disrespect or anything like that. Everyone was in the back. There was a whole line of other people actually waiting to take uh, pictures after us. And those were actual cataphiles, the people there. So it's just a whole different game down here. All right. Jesus Christ. Wait, his spi yeah, spine touch is right there. Spinal cord, yeah, it goes into this. Oh my uh, God. Uh, Whoa. You can go inside and film everything okay. you want. Okay. But don't go out without me. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Actually, yeah, just no, stay here. Sorry, oh. go out of, uh, of this. Yeah, like rubbish. Okay. It's, uh, you, you can't uh, be lost. It's, uh, yeah, it's one way, dead end. We are walking through the tunnel of bones. And at the end of it, I think there's a th like a whole wall of them, like the bone wall. Ah, we're gonna find out. Let's go down it. Holy shit! Stay, Dan. Think about how high the floor is compared to what it should be. That's because we're currently stood on bones, millions of compacted bones. If you listen to that. Yeah, that hollow sound. Yeah. That's because it's nothing but bones underneath. So, and again, like they put over eight, seven, nine, and nine million. Nine million people. They're not just this area, but scattered throughout the whole place. It said, they said it took them seven years to remove all the bodies to put them down here. I read it took no, 12. It, no, it 12? It's quite a while. I know that. 12, to, seven or 12 well, years. I know it was in the 17th century, and I think they only stopped removing the bodies in the 1825 or something. Yeah, like that's that. when they stopped. It took them forever, though. So that's a lot longer than 12 years. It was close to 50 years. Wow. Guys, we are literally walking in a pit of bones. Like, you can't even make this up. We were saying, we hope we don't leave us here. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just bones. It's just dead people. It's just wholeness. We're just standing in bones. Bro, their jaw. Their teeth. Yeah, their teeth. You, oh, yeah. oh my god. <gasps> How you deep see is that? this? I didn't see that. How deep is this? Christ, I don't know. There's a jawbone there with his teeth. <laughs> I read it took them seven years to remove all the bones from the cemeteries and put them down here. On jaw bones. This is crazy. In this pit alone, there's probably, I don't know, hundreds, a few thousand. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Easy, yeah. I. Who knows, bro? I don't even know. Jeez. Dang! Christ. There's a dark feeling here. 
Yeah, there it's, is. Okay, just a, it's heavy. There's a weird thing down there. It's something like this right now. Like, this is beyond anything I think I, I, I ever thought that I would experience. Yeah. I mean, I won't be doing this again. No, no. never. What are you thinking? Dude, I mean, people ain't got a lot. It's just weird. Like, we do stuff with ghosts all the time. We've seen some really weird stuff. Right. But there's something about being around human remains that's just very surreal, very eerie, very like. Well. It it's just odd, like I mean, something like that. I don't ever want to do something like this again. But yeah, it's the most fascinating thing I've ever seen in my life. That's the thing, and that and that's like almost like Chernobyl. Yeah. We're so excited to go to Chernobyl, but it's one of the most darkest things ever. Right. It's... This is just another dark tourism term. Is right here. This is just the thing. Like I, I, I don't mind seeing like one skull, but when you're when you're seeing thousands of skulls, it's like oh my god, like well, this is actually like too crazy right now. Right. Yeah. I mean, we're almost there at the end. It's like he said, it's something like a bunch of Jenga, like Jenga bones stacked. We're not, this is not the end. It keeps going. It keeps going. I don't know if I could handle this. It just keeps going. All right, I'm going to make it down fast. I'm just going to zoop through it and just get over with. I want to see what it is, but. This is why I said. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, just crawling down is difficult. All right, I'm coming. All right, I'm going to it out by this. I'm going to go ahead. Oh my god. Just turn your head away a second, bro, with the light. Jesus what? You've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm freaking out right now. Alright, um, I'm going to continue going down, boys. Alright, I'm going to fall. Have you seen this before, Dan? No. I've never been down here before. This is something else. What the hell? What is that? It's a Jenga bone human thing. If that makes any sense. Well, let's go at the top. It's definitely the craziest thing besides the throne I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, think when they when they stacked this, they probably stacked it from the ceiling. But you know, the decomposition took place. Obviously, yeah. it shrank over time, and then they probably took more in on that because of you how know, long they were doing it. What about? Yeah. You know the bit that you played to Gary. Yeah. Is that been removed from here? Yes. Right, okay. So what they did is they took all the best bones, all the best skulls, and they made shrines and walls out of them. Yeah. And what they did with all the bodies they didn't use, chucked them in, in more in the Chucked huh? them in the hallways and left the skulls, put them in here. And... Yeah. Oh. oh my god. This is honestly insane. Bro, I've never seen anything like this oh, in my yeah. life. When I when I walked down here, then I was looking down. I'm sure I felt like I saw a white thing shoot right, here, see it earlier, like a white ball. No, it wasn't a gap. What? Okay, that's the craziest thing. Oh my god! Look at this. I see it. I see it, bro. You, you can't make this up. This ain't even CGI. You're like. Bro, this is the craziest. This, I don't know, to me, this is even crazier than a skull, a throne, like the, really? the chair. To oh me, my God. it's a wall of, it's a, a wall of bones, I don't know. Look at that, you see the lines inside the skull? That's the, that's the impressions jaw. of the brain, you know. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. And there's jaw bones next to it. That's the thing, like, these but are, How many these heads are, are behind me? Mad heads. It's a, it's a corner of heads. Oh my god, there's more over here. I didn't even... Proper Let's get out of here. There's some photos. If they were thrown into a pit alive, I'd be like, alright, fuck this. But because these guys and everyone here was already dead for so long, and then they were thrown in here because they had to move them, it's a, it, it's a little different. That's the thing. It's not like they died down here. It's not even close to like that. I do know what you're saying. It's the most craziest thing ever. I do agree. But in terms of history and everything, it's not... They've been dead before they got here. I'm getting the hell out of here. Like, that's facts. It's a carving. Two different carvings. <clears throat> a snake. And a squid. Or yeah. Octopus. Octopus. I'm sure they're, they look like Harry Potter symbols. They actually do. Is that not Slytherin? 
Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Gryffindor. Potter. There's a squid and a snake carved in the wall right next to the bone walls. Maybe it means something. We did do it. Um, we did. So we're definitely going to grab a beer when we get back. Celebrate. Hell yeah. Two seven hours. in the morning beer. I, I mean, we have one room left in the tour guide. Why well, our dude Matt? He never said what it was. He said it's beautiful and you have to see it. And he, he said it's a surprise. What the room is. Nope. At all. Okay. All right, we are heading out of here now. Um, first to get out of here. Uh, really quick though, like I said before, all the people that died didn't die in here. They were moved from cemeteries all into here. Um, and that's what makes me feel a little more, uh, I guess, relaxed and calmer about being down here. Because it is insane and crazy. It really is. Um, but it's a whole lifestyle now, and it's a whole, it's a whole different world here. Oh, all right. I almost, I almost think that's. I wonder how they put them in there, like all the bones. Oh. All right. This is a work on its own. <laughs> We've made it to their room that they created and we were eating and just hanging out. They treated us like family. This is their home, they call it. It's the end. Can I um, say clear? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Can I put some on, uh, on my hand? Of course. Oh, yes. Uh, there is uh, some <laughs> here. You have a little bit crazy. of. Might as well start raving down here. Might as well. This is cool. Josh uh, Yeah. <laughs> my hand? Yeah, Go! 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 Fifteen hours we were underground. Fifteen hours without seeing the daylight. Leaving was so tiring. I did not make an ending and I fell right to sleep. I knocked out and that was it. I went home. I flew home the next day. I just want everyone to thumbs up and share this video. It was it was just such a crazy experience and it's one of the best and I really wanted to show you guys and document it for the internet. But also I wanted to do the best. I wanted to show you guys every room. And that's why I, I made this video a part one and part two combined into one. From when I went there back in the day to now, I'm the only YouTube channel that has all the rooms like this connected into one full movie. I'm Exploring with Josh and tune into the next one.